I think our society has reached a comfort level with being fat. And not that that's a bad thing, except it's going to kill us a lot faster than it's going to keep us alive. And I think for me personally, with a son who's not even three and a daughter who's five and another who's eight, I just didn't feel like dying in the next 10 years would be a good thing for me or them. And to imagine that I was letting that go, not Pepsi, Coke, Wendy's, McDonald's, Domino's, Minio's, whomever, is absolutely irresponsible and part of what we battle in America today. Uh, a woman who absolutely knows what she's doing and has become a friend of mine uh, joins us now, Mary Emerling. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Marty. How are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, Mary's with Ideal Protein. It's a medically designed weight loss uh, protocol, and she uh, directs uh, several of their clinics and actually uh, focuses on taking care of your life, not just losing weight on a diet. So I I texted uh, Mary this morning because we have these conversations all the time. You see these headlines, a soda ban in New York City. You don't see that as a solution, do you, Mary? You know what? I don't. It, you know, I kudos to the mayor for really wanting to make a stab at, at addressing the situation. But soda, just like you said earlier, is really just a, it's it's one drop. And, and what the effort needs to be at. And a lot of it needs to be education. That's that's really where it needs to be. Carbohydrate consumption and sugar car consumption begins really almost as soon as babies come out of the womb. They're fed fruit juices right from the get-go. So we really need to, to educate our society on, on what really is going on with their bodies. Hey, hey Mary, I, I noticed just looking around, and I know you do as well, we have now accepted obesity as kind of the norm. So... Uh, girls wear tight pants and don't mind uh, being heavy walking around the mall. And whether or not you like looking at that or not, they're headed for disaster with the number of obesity cases, childhood obesity at record levels. When did our society accept that obesity was okay? Well, I think a lot of the time is, you know, we've all been conditioned to learn that eating less and exercising more is the solution to managing your weight. And that simply is not the case. So people really just haven't felt, I'd like to think that they just haven't really been given a viable option in order to rectify the situation. And, and it's very clear that it's not about calories in, calories out, and, and exertion levels. There's something insidious that's going on from a physiological perspective that needs to be addressed. Mary Emerling uh, with Ideal Protein. Hey, hey Mary, the, the truth of the matter is, though, uh, most folks let it go because everything we reach out for now is cheap and easy to get to and it's a buck it's created this uh, psychology i think of fast food we eat a bag of it and we just move on with our lives right well not only that i mean you're right the low cost is the easy part of it but the other issue is like sugar really has addictive traits to it you know they feed Sugar in laboratory rats, we were just discussing this. I'm, I'm in the Atlanta airport right now. I've been through five days of training. Um, cardiologist is in there speaking, and they talk about studies where laboratory rats are given the option of consuming um, high-intensity sugar foods versus given the choice of going after cocaine. Mm. And they actually repeatedly go after the sweet sugar options and then... Again, you know, the weight issue becomes becomes the concern. So, you know, we're we're addicted as well, and we we live in an addictive society too. You know that you've been talking about it. And, and by the way, she nailed it for me personally. It's an addiction for me. I absolutely battle. I, I talked to her about this. There's this psychological battle that goes on with me on a nightly basis about eating sweets, and I think that it's it's no different than cocaine or alcohol or food or sex or shopping or spending, whatever addiction uh, you may have. What forces folks, Mary, what do folks have to do to get to a point where they say, enough's enough, i got to fight this thing? Well, a lot of it is, is dealing with your health care provider, but even a lot of them don't really have viable options to, to recommend. This particular program is really great because it addresses two things. So what a lot of people don't understand is that when we struggle with insulin levels, insulin's a hormone. And most of us understand that insulin regulates our blood sugar but what a lot of people don't understand is that its other role in our bodies as a hormone is fat production 
so when we can get the insulin levels under control on a consistent basis, we generally see, and there's some other issues going on, but when we can do that um, for a period of time, give that poor organ, the pancreas, a break from over-secreting insulin all the time, then we see a lot of things clear up for people. Obviously, the weight drops, but um, we see big improvements in, in labs, people's cholesterol, their high blood pressure. All of those things have a tendency to come under control, type 2 diabetes. It, it just really, um, really, really impacts things. But... You know, you need to think, too, about the work that you've put in, I mean, and how you feel. I mean, you know, those of our participants on the program usually definitely think more level-headed over time yeah. when they're on it, yeah. um, generally have more energy. I realize that there's a struggle in making these lifestyle changes, but we've got to educate people. And, and Marty, I promise you, and I've told you this, mm -hmm. that when you're done with this program, I'll give you some pizza. It will be okay. <laughs> It's everything in moderation, my dear. Mary Emerling with Ideal Protein. Thank you. She's jumping on a plane. We're going to be talking about this again. It's an incredibly... i got to stay on this, though. My question to you is, does it make a difference if they tell you you can't drink a big soda? 866-391-1020. Does it make any difference at all? 866-391-1020.